Well, here we are on day number two here of the mower. As you can see, it's uh, daytime now. And uh, I've brought the mower out from the garage. And I put the battery in right here. Right in there. And um, one of the nice things is that uh, when the battery's in and there's charge, you can turn on the propelling mode and it can uh, it can go. You can also adjust that speed with this green knob right here. Now I have uh, the cutting height set to I'm going to put it up to about I'm going to put it up all the way. That's the that's the maximum height and just let's see what it does. So we uh, hold this and pull this. So at this initial setting of seven, nothing really is getting mulched up too badly. Uh, this is over a, a bare area, not a lot of grass either. So that's also less for the mower to have to process. There are a lot of leaves and the setting of seven is the easiest for the mower to do because it's the highest. Okay, so this is what that looks like. Compared to uncut or unmulched, might be a little hard to see. Not a big difference. So now let's put it down to the halfway mark. That's the, uh, we'll put it down to the halfway mark. That's the three. No, the three or four. Let's try four. All right. Okay, so that is the four, what are we on? Four. Compared to unmulched and mulched. And then this is compared to the highest setting where you have a lot of leaves that didn't get, in, get chopped. This is the four setting. And now, let's try Let's try two. The lower you go on the mower height setting, the more you have to be concerned about what's being cut. So if there are twigs or branches or stones or possibly even some roots sticking up from the ground, the lower the setting, the more you might be likely to hit something and chop it up. Now this was uh, a big difference. There is the, there's the mulch version, the unmulched, and this is on the setting of two. Now about this time, I decided what I wanted to do was get some more leaves out there to chop up. So I grabbed my leaf blower and a rake, and I pulled all the leaves as much as I could out from these cutout sections. There's a lot of vines and other things growing uh, in this area so I tried to put it out into areas and then spread some of the leaves out so I could chop them up and I found this to be a very effective way to clean out the uh, cutout sections. It's not having a problem at all, it's uh, going right through it. Actually, it could probably go lower. It's just as easy to push. It's such a it's such a light machine. You know, you can go slower. You can go slower on some of the areas if it's uh, thick or heavy.
I, I just noticed that uh, of the five segment lights to show the battery's charge, uh, it had just went down now from five to four, four lit lights. That means that the charge has been reduced um, by one fifth. And, um, uh, which is about probably, I was here, I've been doing this for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So if you think of yeah, roughly an hour, a little over an hour maybe at this, at this level of um, work for the engine, the motor. I would say probably leaves are more abrasive and harder for the blade to chop up, in a sense, than grass is. However, grass is typically thicker. Uh, you know, you take a, a square foot of grass growth versus a square foot of leaves on top of grass. As long as you're not cutting the grass with the leaves, all things being equal, the leaves are probably easier to chop up, although they're, it might be harder on the blade. Uh, so. I would say after a season, it might be prudent to sharpen the blade. Um, you may even need to replace the blade after one or two seasons, but that doesn't really concern me as much considering what it's doing. If it's clearing out, a, if it's working for me for a whole season to chop up stuff up, as long as the blades don't cost $500, which, which they don't, I'm pretty sure. Um, then uh, then it's, it's not a great unreasonable expense. And what I've done here, over this more or less bare area of grass and put my leaves is that it's done a great job of chopping up the leaves and as it rains over the coming days and weeks um, and even once the snow comes here in Michigan um, those little bits will kind of go back into the soil and they'll they'll break apart uh, and nourish the soil um, and then that'll be best for the lawn here uh, so what I can continue to do through the remaining workable days of the season is clear out the leaves which are sort of in these cutout areas where there is no grass but there might be um, things like ivy or some other things uh, and around trees and pull them out onto the grass and clear those out that way through the mulching process. And as a final project I decided I would put together a bunch of leaves. What I do here is I use a leaf blower to put the leaves into a let's say a large rectangular shape for the most part from different parts of the uh, lawn and then I just mow over them. This is with a height setting of about two and as you can see the mower is having no trouble uh, chopping them up and sometimes you might have to go back and forth on one little section or even an especially large clump I might just kind of lay it down on top of the leaves rather than pushing them pushing the mower forward through them. Uh, but this is the result of that large space. And this all took about, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Not a long amount of time. And it was uh, not difficult at all. If you happen to have the self-propel mode uh, on, but you're not engaging it at the moment, the wheel might lock up. If that happens, just back up for a little bit or dial the speed control all the way back to zero. First thing we're gonna do before we do any cleaning is we're gonna remove the battery. So do that. There it is, right there. I'm just gonna put this over here. There we go. Okay, battery's out. And I'm just gonna Clean off. You know, it'd be nice to keep a mower like this. It's such a nice looking mower. It'd be nice to keep it pristine and, you know, no problems. Uh, no no uh, dirt or grime or leaves or mulch or anything. But uh, it's going to get used. If it's going to be a used, you know, machine, it's going to have to get a little dirty. So you could, you could buy two, keep one in your living room, and then use and then that one gets, stays brand new, right? And then you use the other one outside. All right, so here I'm gonna lift it up. 
there's the inside there and I'm just gonna so you can see there's um, debris kind of leaf debris and again it's kind of wet so it's not gonna clean as well but it does come off pretty pretty easily I guess you really kind of want to clean before it dries otherwise it kind of dries to a crust so I guess you're you gotta do one or the other you gotta either not touch it or get it no that's doing something again it's not going to be showroom new wouldn't make sense to clean it showroom new each time right it's just a lawnmower I know what you're saying you're saying it's got to be perfectly clean well maybe you're not saying that there's all sorts of little nooks and crannies here where stuff can get caught but I think a cleaning like this and then you know at the end of the season you might go through the whole thing you might even take the wheels off and rinse the wheels separately again you don't take a hose to this that might be kind of nice but you see how easy it is to just kind of move it around and here's something else I learned after using the mower for a little while uh, especially with my leaf blower is that the easiest way to, to clean this really is remove the battery and use the leaf blower to blow off the debris, dust, dirt, or whatever else is on there. It makes it so much easier. Make sure you get underneath and also not shown in this part but uh, what you also want to do is open up the back spring door or even where the mulching insert is and clear out the debris that builds up in there too because there is a bunch and you really notice it when you tilt the mower on its side um, for uh, storage. Be gentle when you're clearing out the battery compartment. This is I think the easiest way to clean up. Okay now for storage here's look what you gotta do. You lift up on these two things here right this comes down battery is out and lift this pull this handle look at this done look at that I've never had a mower that folded up so easy what you could do is you could there's a handle here which the handle is how do I do that oh there's a handle right here which you can grab through and there's a handle right here so if you wanted to you could lift it up like this and you could store it vertically right or you could even lift it up being careful about your back right it is heavy you know but um, you could uh, you could probably even do this yeah that's not very very easy but because it stores vertically it's not going to take up much space it's going to take up less space and uh, makes it kind of easy to uh, get to and remove and because it's electric you don't have to worry about any oil or gas spilling out when you tip it upside down or on its side that was always another concern with the gas mowers is that whenever you were trying to clean them or repair or fix something um, tilting it or tipping it could cause oil or gasoline to spill and then of course at the end of the season you know properly maintained mowers you would remove the oil and remove the gas as it was going to sit for six months three months whatever it was um, and you don't have to worry about this with the electric mower so that's nice too all right so let's put this back down like this I hope you I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and unboxing of this Ego LM2130 SP mower, electric mower, all electric.